Hey, this is Mike. I'm going to be taking you through the final progression from chapter 19 of Storytelling with Data Before and After, which is entitled Value Your Time. Mr. Ross, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time today. We are happy that you are a part of the Pekent Brands family, and we want to give you an update on how your locations have been performing this year. As you know, our first quarter customer satisfaction surveys have been collected and they've been analyzed. This quarter, our target NPS was 60 across all brands and satisfaction metrics. Now you can see that represented on this graph template, which displays a range from 30 to 90, I will show you where your nine locations ranked in Q1 on overall rating, food and service experience, and atmosphere and cleanliness. Now certain brands were more successful than other, although all of them have performed fairly well overall. We're going to scan down to the more granular metrics and you'll be able to see that there are some areas that are ripe for improvement. What's interesting though is the clear divide among your three different dining concepts. Let's start with the Royal Oak Taverns. All of your Royal Oak Taverns have excelled in this quarter. They've surpassed the target in nearly every metric. At this point, I want to point out to you the dots on the far right-hand side of each line. Now, while the red dots represent all of your Royal Oaks Taverns, the one on the far right-hand side in each one of these lines represents the exact same location. That's your Maplewood location. And we want to commend you on this store's strong performance We'd also like to explore whether there are some lessons from that success that could help other franchisees. We think this could be an excellent model for helping our other locations to maximize the value that they could glean from this restaurant concept. So if that's something you're willing to do, we're going to explore this with you further later on in the quarter. Let's move on to one of your other locations, the Sunflower Cafe locations. In fact, the results in the Sunflower Cafe locations are a little bit less consistent. Now your two different Sunflower locations had very different Q1s. The McDougal location, that's the college location, did very well. It beat our NPS target on two out of the three metrics. It did fall slightly below on atmosphere and cleanliness, but for a student-focused location, that's not entirely unexpected. The other location, the St. Christopher location, this is the one that concerns us a little bit more. This store was nowhere near its required targets. Its atmosphere and cleanliness score of 31.7 is of particular concern for how low it is overall and for how low it is compared to our target of 60. We recommend discussing this with your store manager, maybe some of your team leaders as well. And we're going to have to follow up periodically throughout Q2 and into Q3 to track improvements and see how we can assist you in improving that location scores. Now this brings us to the final concept and your final two restaurants, the Sol y Sombras in Redfield and at Eagle Creek Airport. We understand that there are staffing challenges that you've been having at both locations. We also understand there are ongoing renovations at Redfield and in the surrounding area. And we are committed to supporting our franchisees. So we've assigned some of our staff here at headquarters to help you out with some of these admittedly temporary headwinds. But we don't want you to be struggling. We don't want you to feel like you've been abandoned. We want to make sure that you have all the support you need. And by working together, we hope to see improvements here soon. So with that in mind, let's go over the three things that we want to focus on in our next quarter. First, we want to talk with you about using the lessons we've learned from the Maplewood location to help improve Royal Oak locations across the country. We want to talk with you about some improvement plans for the St. Christopher location of your Sunflower Cafe. And we want to help you out with making sure that the struggles you're facing at your new Sol Isambra locations can be addressed, not just by you trying to work alone, but with the support of those of us back at headquarters. I want to thank you for your time, and I want to ask you at this point what questions you have for us.